Hey, it's just a reading here today. It's March 25th, 2023. The time for me is 12.56 a.m. I'm going to be doing a Capricorn reading. No projection, clean energy only. I already pre-shuffled the cards, but I'm going to shuffle them again for you. Only my angels and ancestors are welcome. For Capricorn. Make sure these are not upside down. We're going to get into your energy, all right? A clear understanding, truthful understanding. If you are new to the channel, hello. Welcome. If you've been here, you know what's up. If my allergies start tweaking, Hey, I can't do nothing about it. I already took my medicine for it, all right? For March 25th, 2023, Capricorn. Let's get into your energy for the first card. What is the energy like? What is up right now? Hmm. So we got the six of swords. You could be moving away from something. Getting away from them rough waters, ending something with somebody. This could be with family or a relationship you got going on. The next card is the five of swords. Some conflict here. Somebody could be a bully, could be, you know, a thief. person could be mentally and physically abusive you're in the eight of swords energy though you're still bound to this toxic ass energy a self-imprisonment tell me more about capricorn this flew out this is the six of swords yeah i mean the nine of swords <clears throat> a lot of sword energy here Got a lot of air energy. This could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that you're dealing with, or they could have this in their chart, or you could have it in yours. Somebody got some toxic ass energy. Four of Cups, and you're tired now. You're trying to leave this alone. It's maybe somebody new that you're talking to, dating, or just have a friendship with. You are the Queen of Cups. You're giving love and compassion to this person. Very nurturing. Got that mother in you. Could be a mother. Seven of Wands. Yeah, this is a challenge. Could be competition around. You're trying to protect yourself, though. You're trying to stand up for yourself. This person could be walking all over you with the Seven of Cups. Yep, a lot of opportunities and illusions around you. This person could be doing spell work, too. At the bottom, Justice is here, though. Some truth is going to come out. Something is going to be fair. <clears throat> you about to and get into this negative ass energy, Capricorn. So bear with me. Oop, that flew out. And it came in reverse the sun. So yeah, you're feeling down. Negative depression, sadness right here with this six of swords. There's some setbacks, some delays. This person can be very arrogant. Tell me more about this sun in reverse. Tell more about this sun in reverse. You was given the nine of cups, though. You was given some stability, some gratitude. Tell me more about this nine of cups. This flew out. And the ten of pentacles. So there was something here with this person that you was dealing with. There might have been some happiness, but this happiness is upside down. This Nine of Cups was here with this uh, Ten of Pentacles. This might have been a family. Um, you was probably thinking this was going to be long term. Money was probably looking up for you and this person with the Nine of Cups. You was giving this person this emotional stability. <laughs> hmm. So what's going on? Why this Five of Swords here? Whew. I feel the energy. I'm sorry. 
Tell me more about this five of swords. This person is a thief. They do not care about how you feel right here with the hangman upside down. See, so, yep, I'm telling you, it's a lot of delays right here. A lot of shit is getting like held back with this person. You may not be moving forward with this person work-wise. Um, things that you used to probably do are not going as planned. Like if you had a daily routine of like working out, uh, maybe writing a book or doing schoolwork or whatever, everything is getting set back with this person that you're dealing with because they don't want to see you progress with this five of swords because they want conflict they want to defeat you and win what you have and what they want to gain because they're very fucking sneaky and um this just seems like a like a war between this person this okay and this may be a specific reading for somebody this is not going to be for everybody because like i'm feeling like this is going to be a reading for somebody that definitely need to hear this um, there's a lot of indec indecisive to behavior with you. You're probably like, should I leave? Should I go? You're probably self-sacrificing yourself with this person. You're probably like, no, I, I really want to make this work. I, I really love this person. I care about this person. This could be your husband or your wife, male or female. Um, but this could possibly be you also doing this to this person too. switch the roles if they need to be switched. But, um, I'm getting that this is somebody doing this to you. And you're um, trying to figure out where you want to go right here with the moon and illusions, uh, dreams. You're probably fair that, you know, if you leave this, you know, you won't, you'll, you'll regret it, you know. And no, I don't think you're going to regret it because this looks really toxic right here with the three of wands in reverse. Um, it's a lot of procrastination with you. You're not moving forward with this person. Once again, this card is saying delays. You may be just, <sighs> this person may be very lazy and probably want you to be lazy. Um, You're stuck too in the past. And this could be somebody from the past that you are thinking about that you can't move on from. And you may be delaying this and you're not happy. And I'm going to get more into this. Could be somebody that's currently here or this could be somebody from the past. And for some of y'all, this is somebody from the past that you can't get over that the relationship was toxic and you probably, you know, think about this and it's hurting you and you're tied to it with this eight of swords and this nine of swords. And you may not want new love with this four of cups. I don't know. It could be that. But I'm going to get more into it um, right here with the two of swords, a decision, um, avoiding, thinking, choices you know back to back tell me more about this three of wands in reverse for capricorn right here the four of swords you need to rest you are not resting you need to be by yourself if you're around a bunch of people that's bringing a lot of conflict you need to get away from them and you need to go relax you need to go have a day off for yourself and you need to figure things out on your own because when people are around you they're going to try to make decisions for you and you cannot continue to keep on being around people who don't have your best interests at heart. And I feel like there's a lot of conflict, not just with this person, but other people. I feel like there's other people around right here with the Seven of Cups. It's a lot of opportunities. And right here, too, with the Seven of Wands, competition. Whew. Tell me about this Four of Wands, please. The world is here. So you may be traveling or want to get the fuck away from all of this, but something is going to be completed. Something is arriving for you. Don't know what it is. You may not even know what it is. Um, so tell me about this Eight of Swords, please. It's a lot of drama around you. Not for everybody, but there's some, <laughs> it's a lot for some of y'all. There's love here. Um, you may be feeling like new love or something is here. You may be feeling very compassionate about something or someone. Marriage could be a, a very well baby around that's going to be born um, with this Ace of Cups. You could be pregnant or male. You could have gotten someone pregnant. Tell me more about the Ace of Cups. with death something is ending though maybe something ended with this love that you had this marriage um something is ending or it could be beginning like i said it could be beginning or ending with this ace of cups new life new beginning new love with this um 
cycle you're in. Tell me more about this death. Yeah, so something's going to change. This your last card right here for justice. Justice showed up before I even came out. You're not going to no longer be in this Eight of Swords energy because something's about to get ready and change for you. So this weight is going to be uplifted off of you with this death card. So it's going to be a transition. It's going to be end of this fucked up ass cycle that you're in because the world is here. Because that was the last card in this one. And justice is here. So something's going to be equaled out. Something's going to be balanced with them scales. Somebody may get karma too. So tell me about this Nine of Swords. <clears throat> Six of Cups at the bottom. Like I said, for some of y'all, this is like a mental thing that's in y'all head about the past. Somebody that y'all deal with. It could have been a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces with this Six of Cups. You may be in your head about these memories, reminiscing um, nostalgia with this person that you was dealing with. And you just can't seem to move forward because it's a delay because you haven't let this person go. Yeah, let's talk about this nine of swords. Is that what that is? Tell me more about this nine of swords. Yeah, here we go. Here's the moon, illusions, dreams, subconsciousness, fear, anxiety. Yeah, you probably can't sleep. You're probably up in the middle of the night. You probably wake up between the hours like uh, two, three, maybe even like one o'clock. Um, sometimes maybe you can't even like eat, maybe you don't have an appetite, you know, that anxiety and depression will cause that will make you kind of jumpy, will make you like, you know, uneasy. So if that's going on, this does needs to change because this is not healthy for you, uh, Capricorn. You need to get your rest. You need to be able to eat, have your energy because you guys do work hard <laughs> in order to get your 10 of pentacles you know back if you lost it or if keep it in line you have to you have to sleep you have to eat you have to gain your energy you have to rest tell me more about this moon you're in your emotions about something you stay up at night probably thinking about it you probably don't talk to nobody about it and it's fine because you know you guys capricorn people are very private people y'all don't like people in y'all business so see look right here with the two of swords yep you have a decision that you haven't made yet you're probably avoiding something thinking about something um you may be in the King of Swords energy right here, your head over your heart, very disciplined, probably not trying to think about, um, probably not trying to think about it. You're probably trying to just be like, um, yeah, I don't care, but I don't think it's working for you. So tell me more about this, please. Why isn't it working? Right here, because you're in decision making. Right here with the Six of Wands. This could be somebody that you um, want to get some recognition to. You're probably, probably scared to reach out with the Six of Wands. You're probably just looking, but just moving along with the Six of Wands. You may have some good news or want to give some good news to someone or something. What I'm getting is that you're trying to get to a, you're trying to progress, trying to get to like the finish line. Right here with this four of cups being up next. <clears throat> you may be having some type of mediation with yourself. Like, should I do this? Or like, you know, you may even be in the public eye yourself. You may be very, um, maybe kind of confident about this. But then again, you're going to reach the four of cups again and just be like, no, maybe I shouldn't. So you may be trying to want to reach out to somebody with this six of wands but then don't want to do it because they may be in the queen of swords tell me more about this four of cups with the page of wands yeah you want to that's what i was saying you may want to send a message to somebody with this page of wands but you may think that they're in the Four of Cups. You could be dealing with an Empress. Tell me more about this Page of Wands. Right 
Or I hear the King of Swords. Yeah, but you're yeah, you're um using your head over your heart. You're like closed off emotionally. People see you as closed off emotionally, but deep down inside, you'd be like this. At night or when you're by yourself, you're in that nine of swords. You you have a good poker face, Capricorn. So nobody actually knows what you're going through. You play it off very well. Right here with this four of pentacles. This may have been a loss. This solid foundation. Tell me more about this king of swords. Why are you in this king of swords energy? Why are you like, nah, I'm good, but... Still sad. Tell me more, please. Please tell me more. Yeah, because you are the emperor. You're the leader. You make the final say. This is this is why you're like this because, believe it or not. I'm not gonna lie, Capricorn, you may be a little controlling, which is fine. You like to have shit in order and you want things to go your way according because if it don't go the way you want it to go, it's not gonna fit right and I get it. But sometimes you need to you may have like this ego, this strong ego, like like you don't care and like, you know, F it, but Maybe you need to relax, okay? <laughs> That's what I'm getting. You need to relax, especially with that um that that four of swords right here that was in this deck. You need to relax. Cause I did see that four of swords. Where the hell is it at? But I think you need to take a step back and Maybe a little mad a little bit, you know, I'm getting like a little mad energy. Like, you know, it's, you checked out from your emotions. But it's okay to feel because if you hold it all in and bottle it in and don't say anything and just you, you're in this energy right here, this king of swords and this uh, emperor energy, it's only going to break you down even more. Because you can only be strong for so long, you know. It's okay to cry and get emotional, you know. At the end of the day, I'm going to clarify this Queen of Cups because this is you, which I feel like it is. You do have that healing, stable, caring, loving energy. But you may have been giving it for so long, you ain't been getting it back. You just burnt out and you just like... F everybody, because this ten of swords is at the bottom. It's just like you feel defeated. It's so many wounds and cuts and scars. Tell me more about this Queen of Cups. You're very strong, but sometimes I feel like you a little too strong, which is not bad. But you got to have a soft side about you too. See, with this tower, something ended. And maybe you need to just understand that it'd it be like that. You have to make decisions and move forward and have a new plan with this two of wands. You may want to reconcile and have a new plan with this with this queen of uh, cups here. With the three of pentacles, that teamwork, but you trying to juggle everything. By having this strong attitude. Tell me more about the tower. I'm not saying be weak. That's not what I'm saying. But you can only, you know, you can only do so much. You're gonna need to rest and release that stress. The magician, yeah. This had to come to an end. The magician is here. That was that willpower. Action had to be taken. 
with this magician. So if you're still upset about this being an end, it had to. It had to come to an end. It took action right here with this magician card. With the Hierophant. It's a high level right here. Tell me more about the, the magician. With the five of cups, yeah. You got to accept this. For the Capricorn who's watching this right now, you lost somebody that you really loved. It was cool. It was all fun. It was all fun. But this happiness ain't here no more. It's not here. Yeah. And you 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 got to you got to you got to leave this alone. You could have very well been dealing with a a water sign here. It's time for you to find peace. And it's not going to happen with other people neither. You got to find peace within yourself. You got to forgive yourself because you may have did something. But you got to forgive yourself. And if you haven't asked for forgiveness, you need to. The only person you need to ask for that from is the, the one above. You don't need to go to this person and ask them for shit. Strength is here, though. This is Leo energy. You have that power, and you have that compassion to get the fuck out of this Five of Cups. Seven of Wands. Tell me more about this Seven of Wands. Yeah. King of Pentacles. You working on this money. You could be just really overworking. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. Yeah, the Five of Pentacles. This is a loss. You may have some low self-esteem right here about your money. You may feel low like, damn, I don't got enough. Like, it's okay. I feel like for some of y'all, y'all might have lost y'all job or got rid of some um, some side hustles that wasn't really making enough money or wasn't going anywhere or y'all probably left the job. But something finna be rushing in right here with this Knight of Swords. Action is coming. Tell me more about the Five of Pentacles. For a lot of y'all, this is new stuff with a new person here. But a lot of y'all, this is the past. Like I said, because I was getting to that. I was like, this got to be the past. For a lot of y'all, this is the past. You want uh, forgiveness with somebody here with this Five of Pentacles. There's somebody that's right behind you. And you want some type of forgiveness. See, with this Nine of Pentacles at the bottom... Growth. Passion, hard work with this Eight of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands messages moving fast. It's going to be a new phase coming in, though. Like I said, the only person you need to ask for forgiveness from is the one above, the one that created you. It's going to be an awakening for you, Capricorn. Tell me more about the Seven of Cups. Ooh, this is a sad reading. And 
And some of y'all got a, a strong ass poker face. Like y'all holding all this shit in. Tell me about this seven of cups. The three of cups. It's gonna be some type of friendship celebration there could be friends around you people that are just like i got you this could be family as well like we got you it might be a lot of stuff going on you may be trying to search for your purpose and daydreaming like um what do i do but there are people here with this three of cups that are going to be there for you this could be your mother your brother your cousin this could be people at work that are here with you they want to see you succeed. They want to see you get there. With the King of Cups, you're going to be emotionally balanced. You are the leader. They know this too. You hold that final cup. Tell me more about the King of Cups. And you are in the Ten of Swords right now. This is the ending of something. You know, they and these people, these people very well know that this is going on. This could be affecting your friendships, too. This could be affecting the people around you because when you're hurt, they know that you're the king of cups. So or the queen of cups, male or female. So they probably see this, but they are here to try to get you out of this ten of swords. It's going, there's people here to help you. You know, I know a lot of Capricorn people, they very independent. I don't need your help. You know, it's cool that you're here, but I don't, you know, that's how Earth sign is. Y'all very independent. Y'all don't ask people for shit. But if there's people here that are willing to help you, Capricorn, being an Earth sign, being an Earth angel, let these people help you. Let these people come in and be like, hey, look, I'm going to take some load off of you. If you need some, I'm here. If you want me, I'm here. You need a call, text, whatever, some inspiration. Uh, need me go take you somewhere. Let these people right here with this three of cups help you, cause I feel like you doing you're doing a lot by yourself. You're handling your emotions, your money, and this past hurt, this can't sleep at night energy right here, and you know this moon energy. You doing all this by yourself, but there's people here. There's people here that want to have a celebration with you. You are the like I said, you're the king of cups. You hold that last cup. You have the control. And this is fucked up, man. I know you're hurt. I know you're sad. There was a lot of shit going on with you and this person that you're dealing with or the person in the past. For a lot of y'all, this is somebody that you guys dealt with before. I feel like some maybe ended in January last year. September, October may have ended like right now between March, beginning of April. Or it's finally finna just come to an end after all that time. You're finally like realizing like... This shit is over. And this hurts you a lot. And you guys are probably currently still in this situation and probably just really hurt by whoever this person is. I feel like this person has turned cold. There's no communication. If there is communication, it's a lot of conflict. You know, with this... uh. With this five of swords. <laughs> Some of these cards came out in reverse. And y'all know I like to do the reversals too. I want to see what's going to happen. None of these came out in reverse, but I think like like two of these or three of these did. Oh. Mm -mm. You guys hear my dog snoring? I'm so <laughs> sorry. That man be knocked out. Yeah, it was three of them. These are to the side, all right? We're done with them. We're going to uh, talk more about the ones that were in reverse. It was the sun, the hangman, and the three of wands. A lot of sadness here. A 
uh, decision making. Tell me more. I'm going to pull two for each card. I'm not trying to make this super long, even though it's going to be a little long. Tell me more about this sun in reverse, please. The Hierophant, soul searching. You're alone. You by yourself. For a lot of y'all, y'all probably were around people in the beginning with that Three of Cups. People around celebration, like I said, but now you you in Hermit. You probably don't even want to be around a lot of people because a lot of people, they probably like all happy and you're not really happy. So it's like kind of fucking with your energy. People be like, oh, you're a party pooper or whatever. But nah, you just probably just want to be by yourself. Tell me more about this hermit. You turned down right now. Well, look, you got the nine of pentacles in reverse. Yeah. It, it could be something going on with your money, too, and why you don't want to be around people neither. Because, you know, who want to be around people when you don't got no money? Obsession will work. Like, what did I say earlier, man? With this, uh, with this nine of pentacles in reverse, you could be really, you know, just working, 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 trying to avoid things. Like I said, because the two of swords did come out. Hmm. Losing your faith. Tell me more about this um, hangman in reverse, please. It's a lot of delays. With the king of wands here. You trying to overcome some shit, whatever it is. You trying to stay uh, focused. Tell me more about this King of Wands. You need to heal right here with this star energy, Aquarius. You need to stay calm. Like I said, for some of y'all, y'all a little angry. Because y'all got wand energy here. That's that fire. So you need to chill out. Don't get so mad at things. You need to heal, okay? Rejuvenate yourself. Feeling sad and mad energy, so like up and down. Tell me more about the uh, Three of Wands, please. Mm, this one's in my face, so the High Priestess. You're going to follow your intuition. You have knowledge. You have morals. So don't let this in reverse with this three of wands delay you and have you procrastinating because you know what you need to do. So stop playing with it. Right here, this flew out. With the two of cups, self-love, this in reverse. So you need to love yourself. This is a breakup. This is the ending, but you need to love yourself. There was tension. It was an imbalance. Y'all probably was happy in the beginning, and, and now y'all not. Y'all know y'all. You know you're not seeing eye to eye with this person. And you know if you could go back to this person, you know you would, but right now you're not. But some of y'all, like I said, y'all in hermit. Y'all not talking to nobody. And not this person. This came in reverse with the two of cups. It is not going to work. It is not going to work. And it's like that. Tell me about this uh, Nine of Pentacles in reverse and this Three of Cups in reverse. Three of Pentacles in, uh, at the bottom. This was a teamwork. What's going to happen with this Nine of Pentacles and this Two of Cups in reverse? Queen of Swords, just judgment, independence. And the Two of Pentacles. This is weighing down on you. This shit in reverse with this Nine of Pentacles is weighing down on you. 
the money in this relationship. You juggling both of them. But I don't even think there's a relationship anymore because it's in reverse. Because this is a breakup. It's over. Because the will of fortune is here. It might have been a karmic cycle. Ups and downs. But it's a turning point. It's a change. <laughs> Should be crazy. Let me see what this person want to say to you, though. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and um, this person, they know it's over too. Yep. I'm going to pull two cards from here and two cards from the other one. What does Capricorn's person want to say to them? Or what needs to be said? I hide things, but I hide behind material things. So this could be very much well you or this person hiding behind material material gain. I know I messed up everything. So this person knows that they messed up things with you. Ooh. I'm going to get one of the lovers oracle for you. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull um, an angel card for you. And we're going to go ahead and end this. Okay, Capricorn. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Ooh. <laughs> These cards are so slick because I barely use them, okay? I don't always do the lover oracle cards because I nah, ain't probably what that person even want to say to your ass, okay? <laughs> Let me stop, though. It probably is, okay? Tell me more. Okay. I can't take it anymore. So this person can't take it anymore. They can't do it. And at the bottom, I don't know where to start. I'm going to put it right here. So they don't know where to start. They can't take it anymore. I try to be realistic when I'm doing these readings. Some people, they be trying to feed you bullshit. I'm not going to feed you bullshit, all right? It's just not me. Very honest, very blunt. So I'm pretty sure my channel going to be small as hell. And that's fine because people want to hear that fairy tale shit. And I'm not I'm not going to send you um, fairy tale ass messages. You know, my ancestors, they're very blunt. So they're going to give you the raw and uncut. Let's get into an angel card. This flew out. Romance. Wow, so it was some romance here, right? The next one. I'm going to pull two for y'all. I'm going to pull this one. Blessing in disguise, okay? What appears to be a problem is actually part of your answer prayer. You'll understand the reasons behind your present situation as everything resolves. Trust in heaven's protection and infinite wisdom to answer your prayer in the best way. Like I told you, you don't owe nobody an apology. You don't. You, well, if you do, you do. But you don't owe nobody um, forgiveness. The only person you need to ask for forgiveness for is the man above. So if you feel like you did something wrong and you don't want to talk to this person about it, let it go and give it to the man above. That's all I can tell you to do, Capricorn. Blessing is disguise, okay? And you are a blessing. This person could have been a blessing too. They don't know where to start and they can't take it anymore. I'm pretty sure you can't either. 
Maybe it's just time to let this shit go. But if you want to work this out, there still is some romance here. Okay? This is still love. But, um... You need to focus on yourself, though. Most definitely. Until next time, Capricorn. Bye.